Now, is there anything that evokes Yorkshire more than the music of a brass band? From the trumpet to the tuba, there's something about that sound that just says Northern. And Phillips made his way to the town of Huddersfield to find out about the evolution of one particular member of the brass section. Ah, oh, hi, Phil. How are you? How are you? Good. Nice Good to see, see you. you. Come thank in, you, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Blimey, this is cool, isn't it? Michael Rath has been making the highest quality trombones for over 20 years. His creations can be seen and heard in orchestras, big bands and brass ensemble the world over. And as Britain's only trombone manufacturer, he knows a thing or two about how these iconic instruments came to be. To start with, it was, a, it was basically a, a warning time years ago for armies or to warn people across the valley that you, were, you wanted something. So they'd use an animal horn or something like that. It was a communication device. Yeah. And I suppose as time's gone on, it's been developed and then made into a pleasant sound. It's not just a matter of blowing down a, a pipe, is it? No, it's certainly not. You need, you need to create the sound, first of all, and, yeah. the, and the instrument actually amplifies the sound. So, yeah. Yeah, so with, with, a, with a brass instrument, you have a mouthpiece, which is like right, that. Okay. You create an airstream, yeah. and then you, you use your lips as a reed. <laughs> and then you add your mouthpiece. <laughs> I'm almost there, yeah, I am really almost really there. I, I used to play a cornet in a CCF band at school, but I've got to tell you, it was very, very bad. <laughs> My cornet had a nice cream on the end of it. The simplest form of these wind instruments would be a hunting horn like this. By changing the pressure of your lips, you could alter the pitch. But for a full range of notes, it needed some modifications. A natural trumpet was basically a longer version of that, which could create more notes on it. Because it's longer. OK, yeah, so therefore it could be used in a musical performance. If, for instance, they wanted to change it into a different key, they could take this one off and put this one on to make it longer. And by altering the length of the pipe, it gives you a different range of notes. Yeah. Then the instrument was in that key... For as long as you were playing it. For as long it. as you were playing it, OK, until you took that so bit off. So you couldn't off. alter it? You could alter it before the performance or quickly during the performance. Another component, called a yard, could be added and played like a recorder to increase the amount of notes, essentially the forerunner to the valves on a modern trumpet. But it was the sack butt. The name comes from the French to pull and push that first allowed musicians to alter the pitch by sliding a section of the instrument to increase its length. This was the forerunner of the trombone. That was sort of developed in 1450. And around 1770 or something, this came in, which is the, the modern-day trombone. Give it a toot, Phil. <laughs> Thank you, good night and goodbye. <laughs> Very good. He's definitely getting better. I think that's fantastic. Oh, it is a work of art, isn't it? Michael's factory produces only around 400 of these magnificent instruments a year. It's painstaking work as each trombone is beaten into shape, spun to form the bell, the pipes are bent and soldered, and then the finished item is assembled and polished to a high shine. They not only sound incredible, but look incredible too. So we've got a few different materials. Yellow brass, which is 70-30 copper and zinc. Yeah. This is standard brass, but in a brushed or satin type yeah, yeah. finish. Yeah. Nickel silver parts. Yeah. And a, a red brass bell. But red wait, brass, not copper. It's 90% copper, 10% zinc, which gives you that red yeah. finish. I've got one last tongue-in-cheek question for you. Mm. Why were there 76 trombones? <laughs> That's a very good question. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> and with that, I think it's time for the factory band to play us out. Take it away, boys. <laughs>